Hello, and welcome to my video presentation on how to properly set up your brand new Blackstone griddle. That's me. Man, he's cute. Anyway, it's a thing of beauty, the Blackstone griddle, but the first thing you want to do is clean it up because when it comes from the factory, it has a sticky coating of layer. As you can see, I've got some warm soapy water here and I'm just gonna get a regular scouring pad and proceed to clean this thing up. That sticky factory coating is not gonna be good for anything other than shipping the product. So we have to remove that before we season. So I'm generally and just going to scrub everything very well the inside of the walls the outside of the walls you have to get every bit of surface in order to do a proper job and there I go moving to the back side don't want to have to use too much soap and water but you want to do enough to get the job done now I'm taking some clean water to clean up that soapy water I'm going to use the sponge side of my scouring pad to kind of absorb it. As you can see, it's starting to absorb a lot of that water that's sitting on the top there. Get all sides inside and out. Make sure it's nice and cleaned up. You want to absorb all that water. You don't want any of it sitting. Once that's done, finish up with just some ordinary paper towels to wipe it as completely dry as possible. And then you want to turn it on to dry out any microscopic water that's in there, which is what I did before I added this seasoning. This is the Blackstone Griddle Seasoning and Cast Iron Protector that I bought. And as you can see, I'm applying it. You could tell it's hot because it's starting to melt right away. At first, I was just using my hand and a clean lint-free cloth to spread it around on all the surfaces. But you can imagine it started to get pretty hot. After this first application, I began to use tongs to hold the cloth as I applied my seasoning. You can use any kind of seasoning you want, really any kind of cooking oil will do. But I figured this is a good investment, so I just wanted to get the product that the company Blackstone made for their own griddles. As you can see, it's starting to smoke off. That's a good thing. That's what you want. You want to turn it up on high and let it smoke. Once all the smoke has stopped, it's time to apply another coat. It may take 15 to 20 minutes or less. It just really depends. So just kind of keep an eye on it. That's a lot of smoke coming off. Yep, here's another application. You see I moved to the tongs and look how hot the griddle is. It's really smoking up now, and that's fine. Still, you want to make sure every single time you ply it, you get all the surfaces on the inside and the outside. There you go. Good job, Greg. Hitting it from the back. Yep, I said it. You want to be a little careful and make sure that you do this in a well-ventilated area, too. I'm outside under a canopy, but even still, that smoke, I got a good breathe of it in my lungs, and it wasn't too good. You can already see the color starting to change from the steel-colored cooktop and starting to get a nice sheen of blackness around, really dark brown to black.